really haven't even tried from the shotgun. That throws intercepted. Pierce down the sideline. Touchdown. If James Pierce Jr. was in the 2024 NFL Draft, he would have the highest pass rush pressure rate of over 21% among all edge defenders and defensive line prospects. Pierce wasn't just great at bringing pressure, he was also elite at finishing, posting the highest sack rate of any Power 5 edge defender in the nation last year on his way to 13 sacks in total. This shouldn't surprise any familiar with Pierce's game. This guy is explosive, strong, and creative off the edge. If Pierce can repeat or even exceed his 2023 season campaign, he might be an even better edge prospect than reigning NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year Will Anderson. Pierce is a 6'5", 240-pound blur coming off the edge. With 43 pressures in 2023, Pierce established himself as one of the best pass rushers in the SEC. Expectations are uber high for Pierce this season for Tennessee, but the tape shows that his speed and pass rush repertoire are worthy of the hype. Tennessee fans enjoyed a glimpse into the future in its 35 to nothing blowout win over number 20 Iowa in the Citrus Bowl. So much depends on Pierce Jr. being dominant in 2024. The sophomore's 21.3% pressure rate trailed only Leatu Latu among Power 5 edges while his 21.9% pass rush win rate was 5th in the nation. The sky is the limit for James Pierce Jr. and he could contend for number 1 pick overall in 2025. Let's watch some highlights. I really haven't even tried from the shotgun. That throws intercepted. Pierce down the sideline. Touchdown. A strip sack and now a pick six for the sophomore star, James Pierce Jr. Eight. Right here to left tackle, number 55, just gets walked back to the quarterback. On the outside, and it's pure speed. Virginia's going to have to do something now from a play calling standpoint to help out their right tackle. That means keeping a tight end in, getting it back to go and chip block. But Tony Musket, had, uh, here he is here, bounce to the inside. This Virginia offensive line has four new starters. If they think they're more jumping quickly or get back as fast as possible, and then if you don't have even weight distribution, you lose your base, they're going to smoke you inside. It is a nightmare to be able to deal with when a guy can dip and rip with that kind of speed.